Hi guys, this is Jackie from TechJackie.com and today I'm going to show you a small on-page SEO hacks which you can use to write a better SEO optimized content so you can have a better chance of ranking the first page of Google. Now in this particular video, I'm not going to dive into all the basics of on-page SEO. For example, make sure you have a keyword present in your title tag or H2 or H3 tags or make sure you have a keyword presence you know a couple of times in your content those are pretty basics and fundamentals right I'm sure you must have learned or know about that those things and this particular uh, techniques I've used in my on my own websites as well as my clients and I've seen seen a tremendous result and that's why I wanted to share with you today okay for example you know you have your keywords with you and you want to write a content let's say you know um, can um, you cut a dog hair with human clippers right for example this is your um, keyword right that you want to write a content on so what first what you would want to do is you need to you know go ahead and open all the you know the majority of the content ranked on the first page right just go ahead and open them like in this example I'm just going to open you know five results right of the content ranking on the first page and uh, first what you will want to make sure to do is you know you need to analyze the content structure so let me pull ahead my notepad and you know kind of summarize up for you so here is content overview right so first you identify the topic and the topic would be you know this particular keyword right next first step is um, content structure now what I mean by content structure is you know how the content or uh, ranking on the first page of Google have structured out their content now this is very crucial because you know it kind of represents what we call as a user intent right or what users are expecting uh, to see from the content so there are uh, many kinds of you know use uh, content structure for example a list based article right where you see a numbered list let's say 1 through 10 right for example you know uh, let's say you know how to bake a cake for this particular keyword you would see you know a step 1 step 2 step 3 something like that right and those are you know what we call list based then there's also you know a table comparison type content right or there are also in a let's say uh, just a normal paragraph uh, type content like there are different different types of content there's also a guide content right first you need to make sure um, that you identify the content structure or how the results are the content are structured out in each you know first page ranking results so after you know analyzing I can pretty much say that you know this for this particular keyword you know it is just a normal paragraphs content so I'm just going to note that down right paragraphs and in the next step what you would want to do is identify the common subtopics or topics common topics right that each of the majority of the content ranking on the first page have included in their content now the reason being is you know when Google ranks a website they don't do it without a reason right there there should be some reason behind they, they have done that whether it's because you know their content is super uh, thorough or comprehensive or whether they have you know lots of quality backlinks right and more authoritative right but nowadays you know backlinks have lost their importance importance and Google you know is now kind of focused on more of the relevancy of the content so even though you have tons and tons of good quality backlinks but if your content is not well written enough or not comprehensive enough you're not going to do well so the reason why we analyze all the you know top results is to make sure that you know your content cover uh, all the important topics that Google is looking for from a content on the particular topic right so for example uh, on this particular you know uh, content you have a topic you know let's say difference between human clippers and dog clippers right so first you need to make sure that you know this particular topics is present in uh, all of the you know the top results top content how about this one let me analyze this and 
as there you go difference between dog clippers and human clippers so now you got two um, results containing this particular topics how about this one difference between dog hair and human hair right okay this one difference between dog clippers and human clippers again so we've got three on three now and I'm pretty much sure that you know this one should include this well right um, difference between dog clippers and human clippers so as you can see right you start noticing the pattern now this particular topic right um, I would want to include them in my content difference between dog clippers and human clippers right so this is our first uh, topics which we would want to include in our content because the majority of them have them right let's say our next um, particular you know topic right how about you know um, shave dog at home like a pro so basically you know talk it talks about you know whether how how to shave a dog at home right so this particular topic let me see if you know this particular content has it or not um let me scroll down how to cu cut the dog hair at home right so similar uh it's basically the same topic but just rephrase right so basically it uh, kind of explain whether you know how to cut dog hair at home or can you do it at home something like that so let me analyze this one as well okay this one hasn't included it maybe this one has let me see okay all right I'm pretty much sure this one should have in, in included it all right this one yeah so should I visit a dog groomer or you know them come to my house so basically refers to the same um, topic right whether you can do it at home or how to do it at home and how about this one um, let me have a look at here right um, maybe this one hasn't included it but yeah uh, I'm still I still think it's a very you know useful topic to really include right because you know two of the content has included it and it makes sense as well to really have him so I would really you know have him include so the second common topics which I would like to include is basically you know um, like talk about um, cutting dog hair at home right and let me see other uh, subtopics right which are common among these um, let's say you know choosing a good set of dog clippers okay so this particular topics basically you know talks about the products right which used to cut the dog's hair so let me see if others have included as well okay so this one also has included right so as you can see here it talks about blades motors and you know clipper kits so basically you know talk about the product itself right How about this one so yeah this one also talks about the products right so it looks like an affiliate um, yeah this one power of motors blades lens of cuts so basically you know talks about the products and specifications how about this one this one maybe let me, let me have a look at this maybe this hasn't um, included it but this kind of talks a little bit differently you know like it includes just a razor right so basically a little bit similar st stuff as well maybe this one all right so yeah this kind of talks about the material right like the products itself so yeah i i think uh it's it's pretty much common uh here it is right blades motors clipper kits so uh, the majority of them right have the product itself in it so I would want to include that as well so I would want to add it as clippers products right so I hope you, you have started uh, noticing the patterns right that you know by 
analyzing your competitors right or the top uh, ranking results you can have an idea you know of what to really write on your content right and after you have identified you know all the common topics right next step what you would want to do is add UPA or what I call as unique proposing angle which basically means you know a unique points right which only your content offers now the reason being you know after you have covered all the common topics that these you know top uh, ranking results have covered now you're basically you know well optimized right so you're basically one, among one of them but in order for your content to stand out right you need to make sure that you have uh, some unique points in your content as well because Google is always looking for something unique right you would what you would not just you know be among all these content right you would want to have something unique to your content as well and that's why it's very important to add a couple of unique points to your content right so after suppose you know once you have completed all these three steps right suppose you have finished writing your content uh, there's uh, one more technique which you can use you know to really uh, see whether your content is super optimized or not and there's this free tool which I really recommend right it's called cognitive SEO right let's go ahead on Google and type in you know let me uh, show you just type in cognitive SEO keyword tool right uh, this is actually a paid SEO tool but you know you can have a free um, report right you can get a maximum of five reports per day where what you what you can do is you know just enter your keywords right and um, once you've done that just go to the section where it says content analysis now this right and click starts optimizing your content this will basically you know um, analyze your content and tells you whether you know your content is perfectly optimized or not it basically tells you the score so for example you know I go ahead and copy out you know this particular content right let me just copy it out and just copy and paste it right and let me add a title as well and just go ahead and click check score right as you can see here this content has an 88 you know score and it says you can rank in the top three Google results right and it also you know gives you a bunch of um, recommendation you know on the improvement and uh, from my experience I've used this tools a lot and I've seen a tremendous results right you know by you know try to optimize you know to the target score where it um, kind of you know um, recommend to you right and just go ahead and see all these um, keywords obviously if you're not using the paid version you're not going to be able to see it but there's a trick here just go ahead and click export keyword list right and just wait for this to uh, finish downloading right all right once you've done just go ahead and open the txt file as you can see here you know it's basically all the report as you can see keyword you choose use right so if you've got a couple of these right which basically um, kind of a little bit hidden here as uh, some of them you know didn't show up here but when you actually export it right you can get a, a more idea here right or you can also um, have a look at your um, competitors ranking and see their scores as well right and try to add more of the you know recommendation keywords to improve the score more right uh, that's all for the tricks right and make sure you apply this technique and I'm sure you'll see a tremendous results it usually takes about uh, two to four weeks to start seeing results after you apply this technique you can do it on you know your existing content or you can do it on a newly uh, created content as well right suppose you want to write a content on a particular topic and you want to have an idea on that and uh, that's all for it thank you for watching see you in the next video